So this is more uh, TN size, a bit larger. It's um, eight and a half by four and a half. Um, card uh, with fabric on the inside and you see I've gone a bit overboard with the bows and uh, dangle here, silver and sort of a bronze, um, the beads and the charms. This is just pinned on with um, ball pin and I've tied the bows so that's very easy, it'll all come off if that's not what you want. Uh, again, this one is pretty full. That on the back. This should come out if you want it to, so you can put your own label in and um, I'll take you through this one. So there's a couple of receipts in there from 1933, vintage receipts and a vintage photograph. Um, got little bits of collage and bits and bobs here and there in this one. Uh, this is a postcard from, I think it's 1911. Um, not 100 percent, it's hard to read. And on this side, um, I've got some fussy cutting here and I've just pinned in a little quote. Journaling is like whispering to oneself and listening at the same time. This vintage document. And an old book page. What's new? <laughs> It'd be interesting to see what was new. Looks like some kind of oven. This pocket contains an envelope from 1967, that's empty, and a page again that's had to be cut down a bit from the young lady's journal. A little bit of dry embossing here. This is an old original ticket, it's just glued on decoration. Um, this is a botanical tag on card. This um, again is just glued on for a little bit of colour and decoration. This flips out. I've put one of the larger cigarette cards on there. And the dogs and in here got the ladies made cut down from I'm going to have to lean over to get back in. That's because I cut um, two thumb holes, so it would have been better with just one. Anyway, it is what it is. This is from an old birthday card. And a little fairy tag. Lilac blossoms have the sweetest scent of all. This is an old French document. Um, just a little bit of a journal card that I've put together. A little bit of gold on that one for a change. This is a receipt again from a date on that one it's an invoice I don't know oh 1933 more vintage advertisements
this is still follows on from the what's new and then there's a little bit about fish and how to cook it <laughs> if you need any advice is an envelope from uh, the 1960s um, and there is a letter in there. It's a sort of love letter. Um, quite sweet. And this one, got a bit more from the Housewife magazine. I think that's more about the fish. remember how I had it. I think that was quite nice. Vintage photograph. This is an envelope with um, a little cabinet card in there. Pocket with some bits and bobs in it including another receipt from 1933. Another of those quotes, preserve your memories and keep them well. What you forget, you can never retell. And there's a flower fairy card, another vintage book page. bottom of that document, that French document, another vintage photograph, um, a little belly band here, document from 1900, and this is um, from an old illustration. Flower Fairy. More decoupage. This is an envelope I've made. It's empty. It's there for a bit of extra decoration and a um, little cigarette card of the Labrador, Labrador Retrievers. And then in the back, um, I've just done a little sort of envelope that you can just hide something in there. So that's her um, and she will be in the Etsy shop with the others. Thank you.